Mr. Wilson, I understand you went nameless for 22 days when your parents could not agree on a name in 1928. I was born at the home, in, in the home, which was the custom of the time in 1928. And there's no hospital to make you name the baby. Well, the doctor had told my parents that I would be a girl. You can imagine in 1928 how much doctors knew about the sex of a newborn baby. But uh, anyway, so they had a girl's name picked out, lost in memory. Well, I surprised them on March 17th, 1928, by being a 12-pound boy. By the way, my birth announcements have a pink ribbon on them because my father had purchased the <clears throat> stock for the announcement uh, before uh, he knew I was not going to be a girl. Well, so the doctor folded his bag and left. I was born in the home, which was the custom at the time. And uh, <clears throat> the uh, so he, the doctor left. So my mother and father started discussing what to name the boy. Well, three days went by, and now they're arguing about what to name the boy. A week went by. Two weeks went by. Three weeks went by, and then after I was, had been born for 22 days, my father arrived home from work and said, why don't we name him Welcome, so he'll know he's welcome, though he's not a girl. And that's what they did. <laughs>